what we're going to do now is just revisit the packages that um, we had problems with. Um, what I'm hoping is that the errors ahead of testing is down to um, the fact that we were in a Chirrut environment. Um, and in fact, one of the packages I forgot to retest it. It was ACL after the install call utils. Now you'll obviously notice that there's no graphical environment at the moment, so it makes things a little bit awkward. But um, as long as I type in the commands correctly, what I've got is the browser open with these packages on a separate screen, so you could like you know browse them on your phone or or you know something else, another PC maybe, or even print out the uh, um, the appropriate pages when you're in Windows and then reboot into Linux from scratch to complete this step. So it's optional, but I would recommend it um, just to be sure that um, all the packages you tested are as, you know, as good as you could possibly get them. So what we should do first is change into the sources directory and the first package we're going to um, test because we I don't think we tested it initially because core utils hadn't been installed it was ACL so let's extract that okay so that's extracted and now I'm just going to type in the commands as they appear in the man page so I'm just going to have to type them very carefully configure uh, yeah, I've changed into it. Configure prefix equals forward slash USR and uh, equals forward slash bin. Disable static with exec. Uh, forward slash user forward slash lib and doctor equals forward slash user share doc ACL and of course it's already there so that's the configure command and make with four processes, four parallel processes, because I don't think I've got the um, um, environment variable set to just um, make make use that by default. So now we can run the check. And of course we'd expect this to pass now. We're in a real environment, not a true environment, and Coitus has been installed, and as you can see, it has passed, so that's good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install this because this is the build that I know has built correctly and has tested correctly. The other one built correctly, but we don't know if it tested. Okay, so just make install. I'll do the. Super, um, the subsequent commands as well just to be complete is that lib lib acl dot so dot star into lib so that should just overwrite what it was there and, and then this should probably already exist actually but the F will force it anyway. The F switch. Slash user slash lib slash lib ACL. So, yeah, that looks like that's okay. So that's ACL complete. Okay, so the next um, package, let's just clean that one up. Was 
was bison and um, I think this failed despite the fact we um, reinstalled it and re or tested it after flex had been installed like it said in the book so again I've a feeling that's probably oh, it could be the true environment we built part uh, chapter 5 in or it could be the true environment that's cha in chapter 6 but um, we're now in a real life environment so it should it should work more successfully so let's extract it and run the config command so minus minus prefix equals four slash user doc the equals four slash user share doc bison right, so again the, the directory will be there because we've already installed it previously Okay, and so now we can build it. And now we can actually do the check. So I'm going to run this in parallel as well, if it, if it uses it. Okay, and there you go, we've got a complete run without any errors, so that, that is a good thing to do. So all we do need to do now is to install 
what we know is a good build. So that's done. So the next package I'm going to rebuild is Libtool. Um, now there were five tests, or I think there was uh, 64 tests, was it, I think, that failed. Um, but I think it said something like that, 50, you know, 59 of them were known to um, fail. Um, uh, and in the, in the details, it says that um, it's because of a circular dependency, but all tests pass if rechecked after AutoMake is installed. So obviously we've got AutoMake installed. We're not in the environment. So I'm going to run this again and see if I get any better results than, than previously. So let's extract libtool, cd into it, and run the configure command, which this time is nice and simple. And now let's build it. That's done, and the tests we need to do are make, check, but the instructions say to append test suite flags equals minus j, and the number of processes we want to make a parallel um, test run. So let's do that.
Okay, and there you are. We've got um, 139 tests passed and 31 were skipped. So we've got no exceptions whatsoever. So again, that's a good result. Um, all we need to do is install that and tidy it up. Okay, so there's only two more packages. The next one, they're quite small ones, I think. Uh, next one I've got is iNet Utils. Um, now, this one actually says that one test may fail in the initial true environment, but will pass if the test is rerun um, after the LFS system is complete. So that's the one that uh, failed that we would expect to pass now. So we're just double checking that. Then it says that one test ping log has SH will fail if the system does not have IP6 capability. Now that may fail because the system's not configured to use IP6, um, but it might not be down to the configuration, it might be the capability of the kernel. So, um, being as it's like a default kernel settings, there's probably IPv6 capability in the kernel, so it could well pass. So. We'll see when we've run that, but if it fails, I'm not particularly well because, like I said, I'm, I'm not using it, so it doesn't matter. So let's extract INET Utils. And now we've got quite a complicated configure command, so I'll just type this in very carefully. Prefix equal user. Local state the equals var disable logger disable who is disable rcp disable Rxec disable login disable RSH disable servers. So I'm just going to double check this makes sense. Prefix equals user local state dirt equals full slash var disable logger disable who is disable rcp disable rxec disable r login disable rsh and disable servers okay so that's prepared we can now build it and now let's run the actual tests and that's all passed so um, that's good obviously the IPv6 capability is there somewhere uh, so let's install and just a couple of commands to move some files around. So I'll just type these in carefully. Here's a bin host name ping ping six and trace root are all being moved into bin. Yep they all worked and move So moving IF config into S bin. Yeah, and that's okay. So that's INET utils done.
And the last package we need to rebuild and test is PROC PSNG and um, let me just have a look. Yeah, this failed. It doesn't actually say it failed, would fail in the uh, book, but I do remember this failed when I was building, so I couldn't explain that. So I'm just going to try it again um, and see what happens, and hopefully it will build now that we're in a, a real um, a real Linux environment. So let's um, extract this. And again, we've got quite a big configure command. So configure prefix equals full slash user exec prefix equals empty libda equals user lib doc the equals user share doc prop psng three three yeah that should all exist disable static disable kill so let's just check that so we've got configure prefix equals user exact prefix is blank libda equals user lib doctor equals user share doc prop ps disable static and disables disable kill so let's configure that and now we can build So now it says we've got a few changes to make for the LFS environment. So let's type these set strings in very carefully. Um, so we've got set minus i minus r single quote s pipe bracket pmac app underscore init name close bracket three backslashes dollar pipe backslash one pipe close quote space test suite cold slash p map test p map dot exp okay and set minus i single quote forward slash set tty forward slash d single quote test suite p kill test p kill exp and rm test suite p grep test p grep dot exp and now we can run the check and yeah we've got a complete pass so um, again it's probably just the fact that we're in a true environment before is why we had to play this so let's just install this now and finish off with a few or a move and a link so user lib lib proc oops lib proc ps dot so dot star into lib and the user lib lib proc ps dot so dot star into lib yep that's worked and a sim link again this will already exist but we'll just overwrite it to be sure and that's what the F switch does dollar read link for slash user lib lib 
cropps.so user lib lib prop propps.so yep that seems to have worked so that's all the packages rebuilt retested um, with all clear test runs so um, it just means that we know or we've got, got more confidence better confidence in the the base LFS system especially if uh, important if you are going to go ahead and um, um, put in some of the packages that are in the BLFS the Beyond Linux from Scratch book which um, I will be doing some videos on so that's that for now. I'm gonna uh, work. In fact, what I'm gonna do is just reboot as a sanity test, make sure everything works fine, and then I'll shut down. Okay, so we've got the prompt. Let's go in. Let's just check network con connectivity. Ping my gateway, that's fine. Let's ping the web address. Just set, check the DNS is working, that's fine. So it looks, looks okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so everything looks fine. Um, so let's just shut down. <laughs>